Hello friends, Yossi here. Today we're going to talk about Toronto real estate market of March 2019. What to buy and what not to buy. Toronto real estate, condos, assignments, homes, resale, 2019. Let's go. Very big packed video today, so stay with me. The first thing, let's go to uh, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Please follow me here. Very important because a lot of all the little uh, updates and details go in here when I don't have time to blog. Because blogging takes forever. It takes me half a day to put one article up. Okay, no one really can do it because it's me. Uh, so follow here. There's 2148 uh, at the moment. Let's start with Rush Condos. Uh, Rush, uh, which is the old uh, Adams uh, Adamson rent at, um, at uh, Augusta there in uh, Richmond. And... It's been uh, like a big, like one-story rental commercial building for many, many years. It's going to be a lovely condo, about 15 stories or so. And the penthouse has been released. I'm looking here on my side, my other computer. And this is a floor plan that I wanted to bring to your attention because I really liked it when it was sent to me uh, with the one problem. The kitchen was on the wrong uh, wall, okay? So I marked the kitchen with red, and I said, that kitchen's on the wrong wall. You got such a lovely unit. It's a wide unit. It's just a perfect one bedroom. It's the most convenient, efficient one bedroom that one can design with the problem of the kitchen. You know, the architects these days, they drag and drop stuff right out of architect school, but they they just don't get it. So what I did is I marked it with red here, and then I transferred, I said, put the kitchen here on the back wall where the blue is, blue is good, red is bad, and what do you know? Developer says, yeah, we'll do it, no problem. Get us some buyers. So here we are. Um, I told the developer, sure, you put that, you put that uh, kitchen on the right side, I'll let everyone know. So I am. So this unit is a rush condo. It's a penthouse unit. It's 523 square feet. The floor plan is very, very good. It's wide, lots of light, large balcony. Um, the price, are you ready for this? Is 720,990. Seven, 721,000. That comes to about $1,348 a foot. Uh, I wrote it right here. Uh, now that might sound, that may sound a lot to you, but if you if you don't mind. King West already selling for fifteen to eighteen hundred a foot because they raised the prices. They're about ninety percent sold out. So here is about four hundred dollar a foot less at King West. This is kind of right in between King and Queen. So I really like it. It's literally the back of Java House, if, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So that's Rush Condos. That obviously got units at uh, lower prices. Uh, 643 square feet in uh, mid seven, 700 in uh, high sevens, and so on and so forth. So there's nothing under $1,200 a foot anymore, and never will be from developers, okay? And that's what everyone needs to understand is as Toronto grows and as the economy uh, grows, inflation really, um, prices have to come up. Uh, the only thing that is not coming up is the money that you're making. So you're going to have... A choice to make and if you haven't made it so far you better make it quick because there's really only two camps you can belong to the camp of owners the landlords and the camp of renters if you go back 800 years to the field out there was the land barons and there were the serves okay so if you own property you have a right and if you do not own property you're always at the mercy of someone else that's the first reason why you want to own real estate the second reason you want to own real estate is because it's the only way you can keep up with inflation, right? The more the federal uh, banks are printing money and then our government buys the money and then pays them interest, that's called the debt. Our debt is really mostly to the private corporation that prints our money. You know, the Canadian dollar is not our dollar. It's someone else's and they sell it to us. Get that, okay? The dollar, <laughs> that piece of paper that says dollar on it or 10 or whatever number, it's not actually a dollar, just a piece of paper that the Canadian government or any other government buys from the federal bank and then pays them interest. That's a national debt. Okay, so in order to catch up with that, and you know, they got to print more and more money to keep up, but then the interest goes up, so the debt goes up, so the prices have to go up. So that's why the prices of everything is going up all the time. And one of the best ways to do it is for real estate. If you buy stock, that can go to zero. You don't know who's running that company, what they spend their money on. But when you own a unit, at least you know that's your price, that's how much you're going to pay every month, that's your mortgage, that's your condo fees, that's your taxes, and that's how much rent you're going to get, okay? And you can balance that by putting more or less into 
the capital into the mortgage so you can buy it for cash and just pay the condo fees and taxes or you can say put 20% down do the famous 80-20 and then pay the mortgage on 80% or you can do 50-50 or whatever combination you want but that's your way to get out of that crazy spiral is to own real estate okay so rush condos you know I am a big proponent of penthouses because they're long lasting value now the price seems really high right now, but every single time I've bought real estate, the price was crazy. I started buying real estate, it was less than $200 a foot, and it wasn't that long ago. And now, <clears throat> 200 and that's say 14, so seven times more, seven times more. But the rents haven't changed that much. The rents may be, you know, doubled, if that. So you gotta own. And then put as much money as you can towards the property and then live in it. And then the next one, buy one and rent it out and another and another and another. And that's why myself and my clients be doing all these years. So go to Twitter, look up the information for Rush Condos. And if you want, give me a shout. I'll give you more information. I'll send you whatever is left. And they have all kinds of specials right now, which are pretty good. The caps are pretty low. It, um, another developer told me the other day that the city of Toronto is going to raise the caps very, very much. So developers are going to have to eat some of that, but we, the buyers, the investors, will have to eat the rest. So get ready for this. And if you can buy, buy today. You know, like the best time to buy was yesterday, and the second best is today. Tomorrow is going to be more expensive, just how, how it works. Okay. Uh, we have uh, an assignment here at 159 Wellesley. Fantastic assignment. That is um, That building is nearly sold out. They literally have a handful of units. And, you know, they're going to put the price, and still the developer price, I think, is very fair. I actually think the developer price on this unit is very, very fair. The only thing is, and, you know, I'm not going to tell you this. I don't, I don't advertise which unit it is exactly or anything like that because we're not allowed to. In all fairness to developer, you have to understand developers are in a game of making money. That's what they do. You know, they need to feed the families just like us, just like everyone else. And they take giant, giant risks with millions of dollars. Headaches, they last four, five, ten years on one building. Give them the respect, okay? We have to respect the developers. But this particular unit, we have a one plus dead parking locker, just that one that I can sell you for 77100 less than what the developer would ask you. And this is actually a good for the developer because, it, I, because the moment I sold that unit, developers guarantee to make their 77000 extra on top of what my client will make or gain back once they sell, okay? There you go. Um, some uh, 159 Wesley here. Okay, that's the same one. Uh, this is interesting too. This is a, the, <laughs> this is a crazy story <clears throat> how uh, some guy that was a real estate agent was working in this company and then he realized kind of by, by fluke, see if it's gonna load, <clears throat> it's re realized by fluke that he was renting a unit on Airbnb and he was actually making crazy money. So here's the map and he started to rent all these units and he basically came up and he was making millions of dollars doing Airbnb stuff. But it's illegal in New York. And by the way, Toronto, most condo builders have a six months minimum lease on them, which is not enforced by the condo boards, okay? The condo boards are not enforcing and that's a big problem because the condo board is liable and I guarantee you that if the condo board is going to get sued, their condo, uh, it, there's a condo board uh, director's insurance, they're not going to cover them because they knowingly breached the rules. So, so they're exposed. So if you are in a condo that does Airbnb, you tell your condo board, guys, girls, you know, if you are not enforcing a six months minimum lease in Toronto on, on uh, the leases, when you're going to get sued because some owner is upset that next door is an Airbnb and they're taking the condo fees that they're paying into a commercial unit, right? They're making it into a hotel, so it's a commercial business, but using the security, using the pool, using the gym, using the elevators for tourists, and they're not sharing it with anyone. They're just basically making money off the back of everyone. That's a problem, okay? The building insurance itself probably will void the insurance. So it's a big risk to the um, condo board members, and you should tell your condo board members to enforce that six months minimum. If they can't do it, just leave. Let someone else do it. Okay. I want to go back here. What else we got? 
Um, that was a real <laughs> theater park studio on the 389 Miracle. You can really, you cannot find units on the 500,000 in Toronto anymore. You can find one bedroom for 500, and that's a good price. One bedroom, you know, around the 500 uh, square feet for 500,000. Okay, it could be. 480 square feet, it could be 550 square feet, but more or less we're looking at the resale for the older buildings at a thousand bucks a foot. But if I'm selling you King West at 15 to 1800 a foot, or Yorkville for that price, or Rush just up here um, for 1348 for the penthouse, mind you, the lower unit will be maybe 12 or so. What does that tell you? That tells you that that's a deal. And sometimes, you know, everyone wants to buy the new, the new, the new, but what they don't realize is. The new costs more, and new costs more, it's okay, but then the rent has to keep up. So the, and I'm going to show you at the end of the video um, how to look at the price versus the rent, because that's really important, because at some point, the renter says, I can't afford it anymore, you know, I, I just can't pay anymore. And then the renters are being pushed out of town, okay, and all those owners, they're going to have to find better renters that make more money, or maybe they're going to squeeze in the unit, so it's very important to find really good floor plans that can they can you know it's got to be the smallest unit possible but the best design that's why the kitchen on the side you see a lot of these units i never ever buy these units and i do not recommend you buy these units with the kitchen on the side unless maybe the design is really good and it's possible to live in this unit or it comes with a rental guarantee or, or the location is crazy or the building is crazy but when the kitchen is on the side, you know, I look twice. When the kitchen is in the back wall with the floor plan is really good, I'm happy. It's easier for me to spend the money. And if that unit is right, I'm willing to spend more for it because someone will pay me more for the unit and stay there longer. So it's less headache, less sweat off my back kind of thing. Or my uh, forehead in this case. Uh, this one from Blog TO. Um, 43 Hannah. Now that building, you know, people barely went in there at the beginning. That's been around for probably 15 years now. But now look at this building. Look at the prices in this building. Unbelievable. And that's in Liberty Village, which once was like nobody wanted to touch it. I was selling Liberty Village and buying Liberty Village a long time ago, the very beginning. Now it's like millennials mecca. But it's also until you get finally gets that bridge, you know, getting in and out of Liberty Village, it's difficult, right? It's windy, it's cold, the um, the walks are just so narrow, it's muddy, it's like you need some love. Okay, what else we got here? We got some uh, U of T stuff coming up, um, just nice stuff I put it here. Um, <clears throat> some more architecture. Okay, this is a good one. This is a six, 609 Avenue Road. This is another assignment we have for sale. It's 822 square feet, two bath, two bath, I believe, corner unit, lovely unit with parking, 959, okay? So that's not bad, that's just, um, let me see here on my calculator. What do we got here? 959, divide by, and that's with the parking, and remind you, parking in the area is about 100, that's 1166 with the parking. Uh, let's say the parking there is almost 100 grand, Okay, so I'll give you like say 880 for the unit, and I divide it by uh, 822, and I get 1070. So that that's a very good price, my friends. That's very very good price. And the deposit here is only 95,000, and the keys are co gonna come somewhere probably like around August or September. Okay, another assignment we have here we have uh, the cheapest assignment in Minto Long Branch, which is West End over there. Uh, it's a whole neighborhood of, it's like a, an entire massive block of townhouses. That's kind of the render, what it's going to look like, okay? Um, they come in all shapes and sizes, and I got a gallery here for you. You can see what it looks like. Uh, there's a bunch of assignments here. The assignment I have is the cheapest I've seen, and the reason is because we took the price of what the original purchaser paid for it, and then we added, and, and I put all the floor plans that I could find here, okay? So I'm not going to tell you which floor plan is, it is, because it is, I don't do it because of respect to the developer. But you can see um, they, they come in, there's so many floor plans. But what's important to know is that unit we have here is still the cheapest on the block. And the reason it's the cheapest on the block is because we took the price, the original price that the 
original buyer paid, okay, and we added the costs uh, plus a tiny, tiny margin of a few thousands, and that's your price. What's happening with these assignments once they complete and people walk in is that the price shoots up. So if you're smart enough to pick up an assignment before the crowd, you're going to save yourself fifty or hundred thousand dollars. But if you're but if you're not, you're going to pay. Okay. Uh, this came up uh, February so a, a couple weeks ago. Sold in two days. Uh, they got one hundred fifteen thousand over asking. Okay, so that's uh, Queen uh, Queen West, right across from uh, Bellwoods, and they got one hundred fifteen over asking in two days. Um, and we see more and more of these listings these days, where the listing agent is lowering the price to kind of create an excitement, um, and then to try to get more people coming to the table with bigger offers. Now, rem I remind you, it is we live in an environment of what's called perfect market. It means there's so many options that the market kind of balances itself. But you can try to elicit higher offers by doing something like this. And at the same time, when you price your uh, property or anything you have for sale higher than the market average, chances are that statistically proven, you're going to get less than the average. Okay. So if you think, yeah, I'm just going to try this high price, I'm just going to redo, you're going to get less than the average. It's statistically proven, okay? What's also statistically proven is people that work from their egos and not from the minds, from just simple logic, they don't do as well. It's just how it is. This is great. This is um, lemon and ginger water. I highly recommend it. Okay, there is a listing at uh, 850 Richmond right now. Um, there's only a bunch of townhomes there. They're really beautiful. They're also really close to uh, Bellwoods. And I think I had a link here. Yes, it's right here. And it's uh, 1275199. -199. When you look at the properties that sold here, uh, stuff was selling in the 17 and 18. So $500,000 more than this. So, you know, the market is compressing, the high end is coming down. And the condos are pushing up. If you saw in the Toronto Star this week, um, Art Shops, that, so, that sold. Uh, most of these sold. Uh, most of this one sold. That's Minto. Okay. So a lot of stuff is selling, guys. Like, I don't care what the papers say. All news is fake news. It's selling. Okay, let's move on. Uh, that's a Minto. We looked at this. That's the Airbnb scam from New York. Do not allow Airbnb in your building. It lowers your, it just lowers everything. It's just not good. This is my YouTube channel, Yossi Kaplan. Uh, YouTube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Please subscribe and click the little bell that you'll see. It really helps. Everything helps. Um, it's only 112 subscribers, but it was 40 something. So a third when I was starting pushing the videos again. So thank you very, very much. Uh, 80 or some uh, people that subscribed recently. I really appreciate it, each and every one of you. Keep coming because I'm putting more videos and a lot of this information is very, very good. You won't see it anywhere else. And I will share with you deals. I will share with you assignments. I will share with you knowledge that you just cannot get anywhere else. There's no books for it. Uh, the Niagara sold out of all one and two bedrooms. I may be able to get you another one bedroom or two bedroom if I can get it from someone who, you know, wanted to upgrade to a three bedroom, for example. Uh, and that VIP is uh, done, I believe, this week. And what you'll see is you'll see the phase two coming up at higher prices. It's just how it is, okay? Those who sit there and not sure, and, you know, in almost 20 years in the business, I've seen a lot of people like that. Some of them are still opening my emails. <laughs> And they haven't bought anything. They could have made millions and millions of dollars. I'm serious. And they just, they just don't do it. That's a psychological thing, okay? Don't be that person. Okay, another really, really good deal here, okay, is 488 University. Now, we have one unit for sale here. It's a, it's a one-bedroom. And uh, this building is absolutely phenomenal. I think it's going to be the new Shangri-La. The quality, if you read the articles about the designers, how they literally design residences in the sky, that's a, that's a render of a Mark Rothko, if you know. There's another one right there. I don't think they're going to put a real Rothko there.
but <clears throat> if you studied some art history, that, that's a big one. They took the building from 1968, 17 stories, and put 39, I think, stories on top. All the floor plans, there's a gallery here. Uh, that's a live Google uh, view. Every time the Google car comes, this will update by itself. What's important about this one is, first of all, you get a university address. Second, you're right uh, above St. Patrick's Station, the, the university line, Dundas and University Station. That means that if you're a doctor, a surgeon, a lawyer for the government, <clears throat> a visiting uh, executive or a surgeon or anything like that, or work in all of these big uh, companies, that's like uh, Swiss, Credit Swiss here, and the insurance companies, and the banks, and all the big guys are here, okay? All these guys are making crazy money. So you can own this, uh, still for cheap, and rent to them. And I tell you something, I've raised the price on my assignments recently by about 10% each, okay? And I basically waited until after New Year's, and then I raised all my prices. I'm raising prices, my friends, because... Someone will buy it. If there's nothing else to buy in certain price, you can raise your price to the next level until the market will say, I can't do it anymore. But this will come, in, this will come again in uh, probably uh, September, I think, August, September. You know, the, the date that the developer will give you is always a bit earlier of what it really is. But if you just look with your eyes at the building, you can kind of tell. So I can because I've been doing this for a long time. Dad's an engineer and I grew up on construction and in the construction business, so I know, okay? So if you are looking to buy a super quality investment that will get, make you money for a long term, I think this is amazing. Now, across the street is coming 481 University. Uh, we'll see what prices they're gonna come up at probably in about a week or two, and it's gonna be, uh, did I do the other side? It's gonna be uh, right here, I think. Right where Royal Bank, I think it's taken like right around here, uh, or maybe it's this corner here, I forget. But it's one of these corners here, and I think that will, I'd be surprised if it came in less than 1,500 a foot, okay? So we offering here at 1,100 a foot, but the, but if I haven't sold it yet, and this guy is coming at 15, what do you think I'm gonna do the price? I'm gonna put it at 12. <laughs> and I say, you're still saving $300 a foot. I mean, what, why would you not buy this uh, and pay $300 a foot less which is 20%, so you know, you save 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, depending on the size of the unit. Simple logic. Now, you know, for the last few years, people really wanted the new construction, new construction, new construction, but I think what you're gonna see is return to assignments and resale because the pre-con is getting so expensive. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, is the market gonna cross? And I, no, it's not. It's not because we have a built-in inflation into our economy. Our economy cannot survive unless everything goes up because we're printing money, we, because we're buying this fake money, okay? And there's other factors like immigration. You know, you cannot come to Canada unless you have at least a million bucks in your pocket. And the first thing you're gonna do with this million bucks, you're gonna go buy a property, okay? Uh, in Vancouver, you saw there's billions of dollars that are flushed, uh, whitewashed, laundered through real estate. There's probably 2,000 homes, maybe more, in Vancouver that basically people paid through the roof for them because that was kind of dirty money. So if the government will stop that dirty money, Vancouver prices will crash. So then the government says, well, that's going to hurt everyone else who bought in Vancouver, but with real hardworking money, real legit money. So should we do it? You know, it's like the government of uh, BC <laughs> has got a decision to make. I don't think a lot of this is happening in, uh, in uh, Ontario. And I've, you know, I think in my, my entire years, I think I've, I've made one, maybe two deals for someone who's not Canadian, literally like one or two, no more. Um, so, but you, you, could, you could have, you know, may, maybe there's someone in, uh, in uh, BC that is Canadian and then they get money from out of the country. I don't, I don't know, I'm not from there, I don't live there. I've been a couple of times as a tourist, but. This is, this is a big deal because a lot of these prices are inflated because of external things. I think in Ontario, it's not the case. That's why, and that's why our prices are kind of steady, okay? So 488 University Ave, I think it's a very, very good deal. If you can put your paws on one of the units here, you can be very, very lucky, okay?
moving on uh, yossikaplan.com that's a new site I put over and um, I'm not pumping it with a lot but we get a lot of traffic here and this is a showcase site this is a showcase site where I put like longer more detailed uh, information some really good deals some rental guarantees some high-end kind of a little bit of everything and what I want you to see here for example I wrote like a thousand uh, word article about assignments so if you want to if you want to look at what are assignments and how it works with all the videos good quality you know and tips about assignments and number one is of course hire Yossi you gotta you know like everyone and their cousin is a real estate agent so they're fine but what do they know about real estate what do they own how many deals have they made you know like have they ever like scrambled to 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 get a deal done how many assignments have they done have they dealt with more than 20 lawyers or 50 buyers or 100 sellers? Most have not. That's why I've been in this business for so long because I just stayed there and I stick to it. So read the information here. Some information about Niagara, Stockyards, two-year rental guarantee. Whoever got in here, I think, did really, really well. What to buy, not to buy, and so on and so forth. Another important thing on this site that I keep telling you about is that if you're running out of money, if you're basically looking at the prices and at the end of this video, which is coming soon, I will show you what are the current prices for buying and for renting, okay, very, very important. And what you're going to see here is a bit of out-of-town stuff. So there's Niagara and there's Brantford. Now, why do I keep telling you about Brantford and Niagara? And I even have a full site called Brantford Brokers for Brantford. The reason I'm telling you this is because you can find fantastic quality outside of Toronto and a lot of people are doing this now but you know there are areas that you can get quality okay uh, but the price is not that great and people think that it's a good deal but it's not they're actually not making that great money and they don't know it now but I already know because I have enough experience to tell you that they're just not gonna do well the reason I like Brantford is because it's a clean town it's got lots of money. It's got Laurier Campus right downtown. It's got lots of school. It's got families. It's alive. It's healthy. And it's on the 403. <coughs> it's about an hour and 15 minutes out from Toronto. It's obviously two hours to get back, which is totally fine. Um, it's got some of the highest income per capita in Ontario. Okay. It's got educated people. This is Wayne Gretzky came out of here. Alexander Graham Bell a homestead was here it's all good and it's just outside of Hamilton you know so if you work in Hamilton but you want like nice place to live you go to Brantford it's like the Oakville of Toronto the Mississauga of Toronto kind of thing okay so lots of new stuff uh, the Morel lofts are doing really really well um, those were sold in the low 200s um, one of my agent buddies in Brantford just told me they one sold for 329 really good uh, the brand for townhomes we have a couple of these homes for sale the 495 with only thirty five thousand dollars down and those are full townhomes right across from the school these are beautiful townhomes they have the rooftop included indoor parking included they got a balcony too they're just fantastic that's what it's going to look like very very good quality that's from the summer they're almost finished they're almost finished that was a sales center and it's right across from this giant school called the Brantford Collegiate High School that has 1,500 students and another probably 500 teachers and staff coming in there every day. That's 2,000 families. Half of them are divorced. They need 3,000 homes to live. Okay, so there's only 30 here and only a handful of assignments. Okay, that's the old uh, place before they built. That's from Google Maps. Look at this. This is fantastic quality by Bevco Homes. Okay, very good. 97.6 thousand average household income. That's really, really good. These guys are champs. Okay, on and on. So if you want to invest, but you can't afford Toronto anymore, because 500,000 won't even get you into rush condos, but it can buy you an entire home here. My, I, I, I imagine that you'll get about $2,000 a month from a very stable teacher, educator, working family with two salaries living here that's very very good to me that's safe okay um, when I go here to Yossi Kaplan for sale 
Um, these are pre-made searches. So for example, when you go to King West, it's just going to take you to my MLS site. And remember, MLS and assignments are where you're going to get the deals these days, okay? So this is King West. It's a pre-made search. You can play around with the searches, okay? So this is Fashion House. And you can see it just over a thousand of food. That's a good deal, my friend. Now, yes, it's a lower floor, but on a higher floor, that unit will cost you another you know, fifty thousand dollars. So that's pretty good. Here is uh, eight hundred thousand for fifth floor at Fashion House. That's seven hundred thousand for eight hundred square feet at sixty bathrooms. That's an older building. Doesn't have uh, no rooftop pool. Here is uh, Thompson five seventy. Okay, these units a year ago were. Under five, so they're about a hundred thousand more. That's another sixty bathers, seven thirty-nine. So you see nothing under seven here. Uh, that's Fashion House, the back building, the Adelaide building, uh, and that's uh, fifth floor, five seventy-nine, five eighty basically. Okay, for five hundred, five hundred some square feet. So just over a thousand, still a very good deal. Uh, there's another one, uh, sixth floor, even even higher floor. That's actually a pretty good deal because that one uh, is one of the units down here above the keg. So this unit, I believe, will be facing south. And I believe you would clear that little building here. I'm pretty sure you do. Okay. 477 Richmond. That's uh, the old, uh, I think it's called the Ford building. So you can see the prices here. And they're more or less, you know, 1,000 to 1,100 foot. That's really good. Uh, that's Thompson. That's a studio at 509. That's uh, 608, that's the Brad Lamb building, 8th floor, 1,000 bucks a foot, maybe a little more, and so on and so forth, okay? So that's, so to get to these pages, you go to yossikaplan.com, or you can get to Ur urbanrealtytoronto.com. These are the same searches. Uh, here, I put them at the bottom, and that, those are the same. So I can click here, Queen West, uh, takes you to the same site, pre-made searches, okay? And uh, latest listings, look at these. These last three listings, nothing under a million. Five million, almost a million. So price are going up, my friends. Um, you can still find a deal. This unit here, probably going to wait for multiple offers. Like I said, agents will put the price down to kind of get excitement, and then people are going to come and, and see what you can do. By the way, there's an offer to open the bidding process. So you, you can tell if, if there's a multiple bid um, if, if there's a multiple bid, the agent, the listing agent, will have to tell everyone how much the other bids are. I fully support this because I fully support all transparency in the business and all transparency in all business. I think it's very good because then, you know, the listing agent can say, oh, yeah, 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 I, you need to give me more. No, they say, oh, yeah, I got an offer for 500, I got an offer for 550, I got an offer for six. Okay, so now you know if you want to send your offer, you got to go over six to get it. Okay. This is 36 Lisgar. These units were sold like in a high twos and low threes. So done really, really well. A thousand bucks a foot in for this building. This is epic. That's on that's epic. <laughs> uh, 24 Noble, old warehouse converted to condos years back. Over a thousand bucks a foot. See what's going on here? I, th I think you get the drift. So the idea is this is a this is like a subterrain unit, a basement unit for half a million bucks. Okay. So if you can find a deal, you need to get that deal because it ain't coming down, okay? The prices are compressing. The houses that were too expensive and people rushed to buy are coming down, but the condos are coming up. There was a Toronto Star article about it just this week, and, and you'll see, okay? So that's, you can go from here. The other thing I really like is the townhomes and the penthouse, obviously, because I think these are still the best investments. So... Um, Let's look at the latest listings, and also it's going to give you a bit of a market report. These are so new, they haven't even uploaded the pictures, but you can see here what's coming up, okay? So these are various townhomes. You can see it does come up with all the townhomes and shows your townhomes are becoming more expensive. So the Niagara townhome for four ninety five dollars it's such a steal for 1,300 square feet compared to these, okay? It's a third of the price. That's one. And people will pay you good money for it across from the school. I like that. Okay. That's a townhouse for 1.3, basically. Okay. Uh, market report.
So remember, this video is about March 2019, Toronto real estate, Toronto property, March 2019. It's going to be March in uh, two days. Okay, the report's right here. And we'll just scroll down. I'll quickly go through this. Okay, we went, we've been through this before. And what you can see here is the price of 2018 have stabled. In about a week, we'll get the report for February. And I, I absolutely sure that the rest of this year will be pretty good. So the price stabilized a bit. Maybe it'll stabilize a bit more because these are averages. But the good areas that I keep talking about always go up because that's how it is. Okay, stay along the transportation routes. And then if you don't go west, don't go north, don't go east, go west towards the U.S. border because that's where all the traffic, the commerce, the trucks, the money, all that stuff. Okay, so when you go to condos.ca and you punch it downtown, you'll get the average asking price and that's based on, you know, their last 28 days, blah, blah, blah. Um, but it tells you here, uh, this is based on average size of 1023 square feet. So that's kind of high based on 640 active listings, okay? And it's 1,041 a foot, gives you a price of 10, 1,064,000. And you can see here the PSF has not risen much, but it is creeping up and it will, okay, after these three big years, it's gonna keep creeping up. Uh, even in 208, it didn't go down, it just keeps creeping up and it will creep up and I think it's gonna start accelerating a little more. And the average, 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 could be more or less, average uh, is four bucks a foot for the renting so your typical 500 square foot unit two thousand dollars maybe a little less at liberty village and maybe a little more at king west so king west you'll probably pay 450 a foot and maybe you'll pay back uh 390 a foot outside of it okay that's how it's going to work and here for 750 square feet based on 1573 active listings three thousand dollars a month so you better buy these good floor plans because you're going to have to have two people living in there, each paying $1,500, okay? All right, that's all I got for today, friends. Subscribe, like, share. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Uh, go to twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Add yourselves here. Go to youtube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Add yourselves here. Go to Yossi Kaplan. Go to urbanrealtytoronto.com. Look at all the news, and there'll be like a little pop-up coming up. Put your email here for the news, okay? Go to yossikaplan.com. Where is it? <laughs> yossikaplan.com. And you can also sign here and get all the shortcuts for the resale here. So remember, there's, there's good deals on assignments, okay? There's good deals on new construction. That's a penthouse, and developer will move the kitchen because I asked, and I think it's a great unit. Um, we got some great assignments, 77,000 below market. Wake up, okay? Um, don't do the Airbnb. Um, if you find a unit under 400,000, run. It's probably a multiple bid situation, but you can still get a good deal. Um, some of this stuff sells really quickly. Um, some of the stuff you can still get for 1,000 or so a foot. Some of the stuff you can get for a really good price. Some of these things sell in two days, 115,000 over asking. It's a good market. Thank you, my friends. You'll see out.